Welcome back to Real Talk with Brian and Dan on 1150 KKNW. I'm Brian. And I'm Dan. And our first guest today is David Schwartz, the founder of Orion Entertainment. David Schwartz began DJing when he was a freshman at the University of Washington. Go Huskies. He started (laughs) playing house parties in the Greek system and eventually worked his way into playing nightclubs, weddings, corporate events, and private events six years later. David has performed at hundreds, probably thousands of events across the Pacific Northwest and beyond. Orion Entertainment has three headliner DJs, offers three kinds of photo booths, and has sought after academy program educates and trains aspiring DJs in Seattle. Okay, so David recently received national recognition from the Honey Books and the Rising Tide Society, naming one of 2019 on the rise for event professionals category. That's an industry thing, yeah? Correct. Okay. Welcome to the show, David. Thank you for having me, guys. All right. So besides DJing, <clears throat> what are your hobbies and interests when you're not working? Uh, yeah. Um, I got dogs. I really like my dogs. There you go. That's, this is uh, a dog-friendly uh, uh, dog's yeah. names. Uh, we got Ranger and Rainier. They're All probably right. watching right now. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Be good. Be good. Oh, fun. So we they like just to... barked at the TV, yeah. I think. Eh? Oh, yeah. I think yeah I we're all dog people here. <laughs> So we'd like to ask our guests to share a memory about the home you grew up in. What do you got? Uh, it's got to go to my mom's barracas, which is like a Jewish food. Oh. They're like potato-filled empanadas, basically. Ooh, yeah. That They're sounds really good. delicious. Fried? Uh, baked. Baked. Oh. All right. Baked. Yeah. Sounds good. Never had that before. What are they called? Come over for dinner, my mom will. All right. <laughs> B- baracas? B- burecas. 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 Okay. They're, uh, sp- it's, uh, so we're Spanish Jews, which okay. means that. Uh, our food is Spanish. Spanish ish. Interesting. Gotcha. You know, Jewish Spanish. That's very good. So let's get into this whole DJ thing and what what kind of inspired you to get into DJing? Yeah. So I think this is always a funny little story is that I really didn't like partying in college. Um, and that's actually why I got into DJing. I was really not having a great time socially. And the only way I knew how to kind of cope with the party environment was to hide in the DJ booth and not talk to anyone. Um, <laughs> playing music on my phone. Um, but, you know, at the time I wasn't actually a DJ. I was just playing music on Spotify, um, playing the songs that I enjoyed listening to. Mm-hmm. Um, and right off the bat from the first time I ever did it, people just started resonating with that. And um, I just remember the party room getting bigger and staying full the whole night. And I just got really addicted to that feeling um, of feeling the energy of the crowd and Running the mix gauging and... that. Hmm. Um, and it kept me busy ever since hmm. so is there a show you're most looking forward to this year yeah um we are really excited to do new year's at the needle for a second year in a oh, row wow. that is um that was the coolest event we did last year you did that this last year yeah we did it um this year with uh, our friends at t-mobile right next door oh, um nice. but unfortunately yeah i i've been told that we will have fireworks next year guys providing there's no fireworks. wind uh, uh yeah you know that was really weird. We yeah, were, uh, I was at our friend's house and we were like, hey, let's turn it on. And we turn it on and it's like, nothing. And then we look at the clock and we're like, it, it, oh, hey, happy new year. Yeah, we, d- we had no idea what was happening. Everyone inside was just as confused. So. <laughs> oh, wow. I had everyone, like coming up to the DJ booth, like I had some sort like, of like it was your say fault. in yeah. that. Oh, no, I had like people like be like, what's going on with the fireworks? <laughs> and I was like, ah, uh, <laughs> ask the fire marshal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. Wow. Um, so where do you, so it's a, a you have a team of DJs, too. That is correct, yes. All right. So where do you find them? Um, they have all found us. Um, and they've pretty much all come out of thin air, um, as far as I'm concerned. But <laughs> that they probably found us online or on social media on our website. Um, they just really like our brand and what we do. And um, the, literally the first person like called me. She lived in New York. She was moving to Seattle. She's like, yo, do you have any jobs available? And I was like, well, let's find out like and come on down <laughs> yeah. and that was kind of the start of what's what we call a multi-op um, dj company um there's hmm. solo op djs and then there's multi-op dj so do and, you audition them um you know I, I i she had like twice as much experience as oh. i had <laughs> like i did not need to oh, audition her yeah. so she auditioned you uh basically oh, she, we've learned a lot from her she like she has that whole east coast style of uh entertainment and like they do things really big over there oh. um so she brought a lot of that expertise to us nice. and definitely helped us are you guys looking for level. more we're always looking for more uh we uh so a little bit of our academy program like we train djs from like no musical experience to like fully fledged djs now um i don't do as much of the um get a call from a random dj and be like yeah come on board 
Um, we'd actually prefer to do um, like in internal training now, um, and that's just been a really awesome aspect of of doing this that I yeah. don't think I ever thought I would like get into when I started doing this. But you guys travel for events? Yeah, so we go anywhere and everywhere. Like people are always asking us if we go to Leavenworth, um, if we go to Spokane. Um, the answer to that question is always yes. If you want to take me to Hawaii again, I will go back anytime. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, yep. Literally a year ago today, happy anniversary, Dan and Colette. Um, they got married in uh, Kona, Hawaii, and that was definitely the most incredible wedding I did last year. That's awesome. So you do quite a bit of uh, uh, weddings. Uh, what else? What other types of events? Yeah, literally anything uh, that needs a DJ. So if you want a birthday party, you're having an open house. I've DJed open houses. I've DJed... Um, House parties. Now, who gets creative control here? Because, you know, I mean, you got to know your audience, right? And somebody may say, hey, I don't want this dropping the beat nonstop. I want something to be a little bit more flavorful. How does that work? Yeah. So we we really leave that up to our clients. If they want to have all the control in the world over that, um, we let them. So we use an, a, a mobile app called Vibo. Um, that lets our clients make all of their requests ahead of time. They can oh, invite their idea. guests. Um, oh, wow. It's really good for like corporate events or like school proms. Uh, anything that you might have a, a crowd of random people all coming together for something, uh, we can just send out a link and everybody can just download the app and make their requests ahead of time. Uh, they can like the different songs. They So it's ranked based on... Um, you know, what song's going to be the most popular, and that helps us uh, gauge our audience before they get there. That's really cool. So what makes Orion Entertainment different from other DJ companies? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, in this day and age, the barrier to entry for DJing in general is low. really low. Yeah. Yeah. If you've got 200 bucks, you can go to Guitar Center, you can buy a mixer, and you can download a DJ software that will give you a ton of music uh, streaming. Um, and boom, like you're a DJ now, right? So um, I think, you know, it's just our, our caliber of talent. I think that that's definitely something that, at least for me, is is the highest priority, like making sure that our guys and girls are um, like technically skilled DJs and that they, they, they're like classically trained in that and that they can really rock a party, but also that they're um, just proficient event hosts. That's a big part of what we do too, is just emceeing and, um, you know, being that host of your event and that they can do that um, with class and style. So, I mean, not that you've ever had anything like that, but have you heard of horror stories of some really bad DJs? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> I've heard the horror stories for sure. It's usually along the lines of, oh, we're going to have our friend do it or right. something like yeah. that. Um, that's that's one we get all the time. But um, yeah, I think I've one that's always stuck out in my head is these like wedding horror stories. It's just mm. like, Toasts gone wrong. Like I've oh, seen yeah. so oh, many no. toasts gone wrong. Uh, once I had to like steal a microphone from a groomsman um, who, who was hugging the groom at the time. I like snuck under. Um, <laughs> I snuck under one of the bridesmaids' arms or something just so I could like get the mic so that the mother of the group would not get the mic again. Oh, so no. it was it was like that bad everyone in the room. Like I had the bride the bridesmaids staring at me like do something. Like, <laughs> just do something. Like yeah, I yeah. have like a whole list of rules of things you shouldn't do for a I feel like it's probably a violation of confidentiality for you to be videotaping those just for fun, but I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube yeah, those. I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. we just we just move on. Those. Oh. Pretend they didn't happen. That's awesome. That is funny. So, how do people find you? Yeah, you can find us on our website, orion-ent.com, or on Instagram, Facebook, any social media. Um, but yeah, definitely go to our website, check out everything we have to offer. We got photo booths as well. We have three different kinds of photo booths. Um, so definitely, you know, check out everything we have to offer. Um, we do offer bundle discounts when you pair DJ and photo booth services together. Oh, so, oh, so let's go into the photo booster. What? Why? How did that come? Where did that yeah, come from? That why? happened completely by accident. Um, well. Once I started buying photo booths, it stopped being an accident. But <laughs> right. the uh, I was at an event and I went up to the to the guy running a photo booth, which I'll admit was probably the jankiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I walked up to him and I was like, "Hey, man! Like, out of curiosity, how much are you getting paid to be here?" And oh. it was like twice as much as I was. Whoa! I have raised my prices, a lot <laughs> yeah. since then. but I was like, "That's how much you made for this?" And I was like, "No way!" So I like did a little bit of research, probably not enough, but I got into it anyway. 
And um, now my boyfriend runs almost all of our photo booths. So is that an add-on? So when somebody says, I want to DJ? Yeah, but you can have it all by itself, too. And we have really awesome photo booths, really great graphic designers. So we we like to think that our quality of DJing and our quality of photo booth is um, just as as great. Great. So, you know, being uh, fairly unfamiliar with with this, I assume you bring all the equipment, all the sound. That's all you. Yeah, that is true. So if I wanted to book you for a party... You you handle all the yeah all we that bring fun lights stuff. and sound so like nice. cool dance floor lights up lighting like we can do custom lighting as well so if you yeah. want your name on the ground all pretty like we oh, can cool. do that too wow that's great wow. so any other services that you're you offer um we do offer videography as well um we really contract that out so okay. it's not internal but uh, we have our like list of preferred videographers that we recommend. Um, so so essentially they can start by calling you, get you booked for the event, uh, add the photo booth, and then add a videographer. Anything else? Um, yeah, so far that's all we I mean, you're, I know your network too, right? So you have photographers if, if folks exactly. need that. So how is your can- calendar going right now? What, how many weeks, months, yeah. days out? Um, so it's, we just got out of the slow season, so really excited to get back to work. No, just kidding. Um, but yeah, uh, summer, like April through, uh, like we started picking up again in March, but April through, uh, September, even a little bit into October is wedding season in Seattle. Um, and it's very seasonal. So it's like, go, 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 go. And then it just drops off. Okay. Yeah. Drops off what? Into August? Uh, so it like September. November gets kind of quiet early December, but then holiday parties pick up for the end of the year, uh, for corporate events and stuff like that. Um, and then January and February are real quiet. Mm-hmm. And then things start to pick up again in March. And then it really just goes gung ho from like June through, um, September. Do you guys have space in June right now? Yes, we do. Actually, we have a ton of space in June. We are doing great in August and more booked in September and October, I think, of next year than we are in June, uh, which I'm not worried about. But it's, uh, yeah, we still have a ton of availability this summer. So what's the best way for somebody to get in touch with you to book something? Yeah, go to our website, visit orion-ent.com slash contact. Please fill out that form. Uh, That will put your date in our System and we can cross reference it to make sure we're available. And on Instagram, uh, at Orion underscore E N T. Great. All right. Thank you very much, David, for coming on the show. Thank you guys so much for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. So next up, after the break, we're going to be welcoming Emma Potter. Uh, um, excuse me, Emma Potter of Rose. <laughs> I'm going to say this Robo. Right. Robo. Hello. All right. Let me try one more time. After the break, we are welcoming Emma Potter of Robo Wood Art. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. (laughs) 